Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Hey, I want to talk about uh, bay, bow, and box windows. Okay, so uh, on this particular video, I'm just going to show you how to create them, how to manipulate them, and things that you can run into when you're doing inspections and having to build this stuff. So on another segment, I will show you how you can create this kind of roofs, okay, and fit them to the windows that you're uh, wanting to create. So there's a few things with bay windows, for instance, let me show you here. If I go in here, I go to window, and I tell it bay window, and I, I uh, slap one in there, okay? So that's what you're going to get when you're creating a bay window. It automatically going to uh, group it to this right here. So what's this? <clears throat> and that's why it doesn't have a name up here. Okay, so um, if I hit 3D and let me, right now I have, I have my ceiling turned on. So I'm going to turn off the ceiling. Okay, so what's this? You see the bay window that Xactimate is drawing the opening comes from the bottom of the floor all the way to the top of the ceiling. Now, you're going to go into some areas where you're going to have this kind of uh, uh, windows. So let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let me, give me one second here. So, you know. Okay, so. Um, Oops, it went to the other. So you have bay windows that look like that. Then you're going to have bay windows that look like this and like this. Okay. So, and then you're going to have bay windows that look like that. So I'm going to show you how to draw all of them. Okay. Now remember, the, the bay windows that you see in here are not uh i mean the ones that you draw with exactimate are not going to be like this so let me show you how to how to do that okay so <clears throat> there's a few things that you got to keep in mind whenever you're drawing bay windows um if you go in here you go to windows and you hit bay window. You see how it's vertical. It's not horizontal, right? So if you hit, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna tap to to rotate. If you rotate and you click and drag, nothing happens. And then when you release, it puts the bay window in there, right? Because you rotated it. Now, uh, so this particular one comes in eight feet, right? What happens if you wanted it eight? Oh, no, no, let's say that you wanted it 10 feet wide and three and three feet depth. This is what you would do. You would go to window, you would go to bay, and as long as you don't rotate it, you can click, left click, drag, and you see on the left hand side, right uh, on the left hand side, you'll see 10, 8, 12, 6, and so on. So if you want it 10 feet wide, uh, you're going to have to go to uh, 10 feet, uh, 8 inches, okay? Add 4 in each side. So there it is, 10, 8. Now remember, we, deci we decided we wanted this to be, let's say, 10 and 3, eight, uh, 10. No, three and eight inches. So 10, eight, and this go with uh, three uh, and four inches. So now, now that's how you would create it. Of course, you would click in the middle. I'm, I'm holding down my shift key and hitting tab because I'm going backwards, right? Normally, if you just hit tab, you go forward. 
So I'm holding my shift key. I'm hitting tab, 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 tab. And I'm going counterclockwise. Then at that point, you would be able to insert that into your, uh, here, let me delete this one. And move this guy over. And let's move him right in here. Okay. Whenever you see that little red circle with a slash on it, that means you not you can't put it here. If I keep on inching my way up a little bit until I get to that area, then it tells me that I'm able to put it down. Okay, so now let's make this window look like this. See, right now it goes to the ceiling and this one here is higher so when you look inside see right in here there's no base uh drywall look there's drywall here at the bottom and at the top there's no drywall here and uh, so you see there's a floor here the floor goes all the way to the uh floor this floor is up about an inch okay so a feet so let's go ahead and make this guy look like this. Okay, first of all, let's go to 1D. Well, you can do it in 3D, 2D, it doesn't matter, but it's easier in 1D. So, um, so give me one second here, I gotta do something. Um, okay, I, I, I had a window turned off. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a lot of things going on here. First of all, this goes all the way to the ceiling. So I always start with my, um, you can't see it, but from here to here, there's a mission wall. And and so if you, if you click up here, you can see it. So if you go all the way, first what I do is I click on it, and then I put my mouse right on that, uh, missing wall right and then I click there you see how it selected it you can't see it but it's selected now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here I'm going to go to my I'm going to leave my base height alone and I'm going to change my um uh it says uh let me see opening goes to ceiling I'm going to tell it no okay I'm going to click on hit tab and uh opening height i'm going to tell it five and then you see the, the thickness you see right now you can't see it right because it has zero now i'm going to change that to a four okay because you got two by fours right so you want that thickness to be four so uh now now it looks like that so if we had 3d this is what it looks like now, there, don't worry about this part yet, because I'll create the wall from this back part down here. So, <clears throat> so what's this? I'm going to select this. And if you want, you see right there, it doesn't have a name on there, right? If you go into your properties, you see where it says show labels? If you type Y for yes, I'm just going to yeah, Y for yes, and hit enter, it'll, it'll name it. You see, it was called Bay 1. And you can rename it whatever you want right now. And it's a subgroup of none right now, right? So if you went in here and you uh, selected something here, it wouldn't put it in here. Okay, so now, so I'm going to select a Bay 1. I'm going to go to my properties. And then, um, <clears throat> so, so here, I'm going to go to the floor height. I want to go up two inches. And I just want to go on the ceiling height. I want that to be five. Okay. Now, watch this. Now, this red marks means that there's something going on with the windows. And all of those can be fixed in one shot. I'm not going to do it in individual. I'm going to show you how to take care of this. So let me show you what, what we've done so far. 
I'm going to go to 3D. And now look at that. We got that drywall up here. We got the drywall down here. And then, you see, we have the um, floor. We lifted it up one feet high. You can lift it as high as you want. Some of them are one feet, some of them two feet. But then you have to make sure you calculate all of this accordingly so that you can have the right opening according to the bay window. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take care of those windows. So I'm going to select this window. I'm going to select this window. I'm going to select this window. I'm going to go into my properties. Now, you know, um, so the base height, I'm going to select one because I want the window to be at one feet from the height of what we created, okay, which is that bay, bay area, okay. And then on the height, we're just going to make the window a, um, for right now, let's say three feet, okay. And so now look, you see it turned from red to black. That indicates that you don't have an issue with the uh, drawing. I'm going to hit 3D so you can see what we've done. Okay, now look at that. See, I went, I went from one feet from the bottom of this base, which we created, to the bottom of the uh, window. And then if you go inside here, oh, it, that's because it's selecting this right here. Uh, here, let me, there you go, get that out of the way. Okay, now, now we have the opening one feet up there. Let me show you what it looks like on the back side now. I'm going to hit 3D, go to the back side, and there it is. See, we lifted it at the bottom two feet, and we, we gave it one feet at the top. So that's how you create those. <clears throat> now, you have different kinds. So this is this is a bay window here, right? Whenever you see a window that looks like this or like this, those guys are called bow. So with the bay window, you're going to have one, two, three sides, right? With a bow window, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. And of course, you have your round windows. And those are very easy to do. Those are the easiest ones. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay. So remember, if you want to create one like this, okay, this is going to be a bow window. When you're in there, you're going to measure from here to here. So you're inside the room and you're measuring from the bottom, from the, it's called the depth. From here all the way to the back, that's your depth. And you're going to measure from side to side. So the same thing. So you see this particular one, uh, it's 9 feet 11 inches. So if I wanted to create this again, and you see from here to here is 2 feet 4 inch. Because when you're in there, you're going to measure from side to side, and all you really got to do is measure one of the windows, okay, because the rest of them should be pretty much close uh, mathematically, and so we got uh, here, so we got the width, we have 9 feet, 10 inches, remember, we're going to add 4 inches to it, so that's going to bring us to 10 feet, 2 inches wide, and then uh, on the window, we're going to go to two feet, uh, four inches. Okay, so let me show you how to create that one. First of all, remember what I said earlier. Okay, so if you go to window, you go to bow window, same thing. You see, it's vertical, not horizontal. You can't rotate and click and drag to get to where you need to go. So you need to... Um, do it here and then rotate it. So I'm going to click and drag 
remember we want um, 10 feet 2 inches and then we want to go uh, on that you see where it says 2 6 on the top I want that to be 2 6 4 inch okay now I need to go down a little bit because I, I moved my uh, right there so if I let go it creates it now if I click on the bottom you see this little red little diamond right here if I click on that and hit tab oops tab 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 then I'm able to put it where I want okay so now see it's off just a hair so you know you can change it like that or you can go ahead and try to do it again okay so uh, that's because uh, you know that 10 2 I really need to go like 10 4 okay so that's that's uh, this does take a little bit there's a, a different way to to do it but I uh, it's a little comp I'll be able to get it on my first shot but this is a lot easier to teach you so let's go again so let's go to window uh, bow okay we're gonna click and drag this time we're gonna go 10 4 okay and then we're gonna go to 2 4 and 10 4 let go and let's tab see how close we got and now uh, it's closer um, and you know then you just have to move this guy over but um, the only thing is is that you see what happened to that window look it's gonna it's gonna make it go away and so all you'd have to do is copy this window control C control V and it just place it right there okay so <clears throat> now let me show you some other ways that that you can um, create bows and uh, bay windows okay so it all has to do with uh, angles so if you have your exacto may set right you should be able to do in 22 point two degree angles when you're drawing so let me show you so let's say I want to do a bay window so 22 and 20, so I, I'm going to do 44 degree angles so watch, watch what I'm going to do I'm going to hit shift W that gives me my wall I'm going to click and you see this is just vertical right on this first one that's 22.2 degrees now here is 45 so let's say that I wanted a three by three by three uh, bay window. So, you know, let's say I measured those bay windows and they all were three feet wide. Okay, so see, I just move this thing down till I get to three feet. And then I let go. Then I go, oops, go to three feet. Then I go right in here, go to three feet. Then go right here. Go to uh, three feet, and then just connect those two, and make sure you, this is uh, even. So you see, that's your bay window, and of course, you know when you're there. Let's say it was five feet. Uh, those each one of those windows were five feet. So then you know you just hit Shift W, uh, click one two go to. I'm not going to get close. I'm just going to do it fast. Five. 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 And then make sure you snap this. And that way you can make them whatever size you want. Now, that, those are your bay windows. Uh, you see? But when you're there, you know, if you measure this one first, from here to here then you would draw the distance that it says and from here to here you would 
whatever that one says, you know, or that's how you would draw it. For instance, say this is 3-3 three, three, and that's 6-3. So, so you're going to 3-3, three, three, and I'm going to 3-3, 6-3. Three three, and then close it, and snap that, and then of course you know you'd hit W for went. Oops, excuse me, uh, tab, escape. So you'd have to go down here and hit standard window. You would hold your control key if you just want to click and drag, click and drag, and then click and drag. That's you know that's how you would do your standard uh, uh, bay window. Now you want to create a bow window. Uh, so let's escape, delete all this. Now with your uh, bow windows, this is what a bow window is going to look like. So let's get all the way to this side so you can see what I'm doing. So those things are about what two, almost two. Yeah, let's let's make them two to just to simplify this. Okay, so uh, on a bow window to create a bow window, I'm gonna hit my Shift W, or you know, I sorry about using commands, guys. You just go right here. You see right here, the this uh, icon right here. You would click here, and so now instead of clicking, you see this is my. Remember, I was clicking here, and then I was going one two. This time, I'm just going to go here one time. So I'm going to go two feet and then click one time. Two feet. Two feet. One time. Two feet. And two feet, and then just close it. <clears throat> Uh, so you see, you got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And, you know, this is probably not the right size, but, uh, because you see this one down here, like two, one, two, and, oh, this is only one, two. <clears throat> okay, guys. Oh, okay. Another thing. Let me show you how to create this guy right here so this and you're gonna see this every once in a while you're gonna see houses that are exactly like this they're rounded the windows are rounded they're not like a bow see this this is a bow window okay bay window this is a round one so to do that um here, let me, I'm going to tell that here, I need to remove this and tell it, art, no, okay, so, <clears throat> if you have a room, and you haven't told it to arc, arch, arch, not arc, arch, uh, it'll move up and down, right, okay, so, if you wanted to arch it, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the wall. You're going to click here and right here where it says arch wall, you're going to tell it yes. <clears throat> so when you're there at the site, the same thing, you're going to go with the depth. You're going to measure the depth of from here to where, whatever the bow is. So let's say this is two, three feet right so you would let go you would click here and you hit three enter now from here to the depth would be three feet now if you want windows even doors all you have to do is i was going to hit well it's w but i'm showing you how to go to this uh, pull downs i don't use pull downs but here so you click on window look you go let's say three feet now let's say the rest of them are three feet i can hit control c control v i'm gonna hold my shift uh my control key that way i can just click and click and it 
um, allowed me instead of hitting control V, control V, all I did was copy, hold my control key, and hit V, control V, control, uh, well, pasted it. Anyway, so that's how you create your round windows. You see? Okay, so on the next on the next video, you gotta learn how to create the the uh, <clears throat> your roofs. Okay, and I will show you that on the next one. So you'll have to watch that next video. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.